Yo, what it is, YouTube, man. It's your boy, Nate Faze, man. I'm finally back with another banger, man. I know it's been a little minute, man. It's been a little too much. You know what I'm saying? A little different view now. I know I look a little different now. I cut the beard off. I'm actually in the process of growing it back, too. But, yeah, man, I'm sorry for the break, man. I'm sorry for the wait, y'all. You know, I had to take a little break. I had to just get my mental right, you feel me? I had to get my, my body feeling good again, you know what I'm saying? These those past two months, you can obviously tell. Like I was, I gained a little weight, was fat in the face, chubby, had a big beard. Beard wasn't looking all right at you know I me, mean? but now I'm back, man. I'm back on my healthy shit, man. You know, sometimes you gotta take a break for mental health, you know, just to get right yourself. So that's what I was doing. I took a, I took a mental break, but I'm back, man. This year we gonna go crazy. I promise you, content's gonna be crazy all year. I'm dropping at least three videos a week, so I'm gonna be bringing y'all a lot of content, you know. I realize that this page is gonna grow, you know, and I feel like it's gonna grow the right way just cause like I'm doing something that I love and I'm not just like putting on some act, you know what I'm saying, for the net. But yeah, man, so I had to take a little break, got myself right. It had nothing to do with barbering, nothing to do with y'all. I just had to do with myself, you know. I just wanted to get myself right and I definitely did. So I'm back on my shit, man. I'm glad y'all still here, man. Tuning in, keep tuning into what I got going on and shit. But yeah, man. Um, I'm definitely gonna, like I said, I'm definitely gonna get in a lot of like question videos like I've been doing weekly, at least three a day, up to three a day, three a week, um, three or more if I can, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to drop a lot of tutorials too. Um, whenever I could get a tutorial recorded, you know, I gotta, I gotta get my new camera, my new phone so I can record it so it's fully because I don't got too much storage on my phone, but I'm gonna tap in for y'all. Um, I got, I got a video dropping this weekend. Um, with the mannequin tutorial so y'all tap in with that do i recommend mannequins i do i do i mean if you don't have like if you don't have any clientele right now you can't do anything like that i would just tap in with a mannequin like 30 dollars on amazon just get one that has like a beard connected to it you can kind of practice on it it's definitely hard to blend on it it's definitely hard to do real work on it just because it's not a real human being it's not real skin so don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look the best but i mean just to get the motions of everything, just to get everything down, I would say just get it for the fucks of it. But, um, yeah, man, so, you know, the big question of this video is, you know, how to get clientele as a, as a beginning barber, as a starting barber, you know what I'm saying? How to get clientele the easy way, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight up, I'm gonna be blunt with you, I'm gonna be straight to the point with you. You know how when you're when you're in the when you're in the field and you're in the this this I'm I'm, I'm gonna be sure like this this is before you even get into a shop you gotta dead ass ask people to cut their hair that's just how straight up it's gonna be and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat shit you know what I'm saying you gotta dead ass ask people can I give you a haircut yo what's up bro do you need a cut bro like like bro you know what I'm saying I'm not the best right now but I promise you I'm gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? Like, give, let them know. Like, give them that. Like, look, I'm not the best right now, not. But if you if you trust me and you stick with me, bro, like I'm gonna get you right and moving forward. Like I got you. You know what I'm saying? Cause it takes a lot of trust. You got your client got to trust you. You got to trust your client. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning stages, because if they don't trust you, bro, they're not gonna let you. You know, cut their hair. If you don't trust them, you're not gonna want it. You're gonna be nervous. You know what I'm saying? So straight up, but you just gotta ask people. That's just how that's just how it starts out. You gotta dead ass ask people. Later on, the best feeling is when people ask you for haircuts. Hey, but you think you got me with a cut? Hey, bro, I seen your work, but you think you think you get me right? Let me. How, how do I book? You know what I'm saying? When those questions start coming in, then you know you're doing something right. But you gotta start off straight up. Like you gotta go after the work, and then the work's gonna come to you, which is the best feeling. You know what I'm saying? So like I was saying, bro, the best thing to do is ask, bro ask 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 and you know you might have one person that you can that you're cutting for like a month or two because no one else no one else trusts you you have you don't have nowhere to cut their hair and if it's your brother your cousin your dad your uncle when i tell you man perfect that person bro perfect that person's haircut every time you cut their hair don't just cut their hair one week and then they're satisfied with it so they could say so say so they come back two weeks later ask for a cut and then you just cut their hair and they go perfect they shit man so that you could show, you could see your growth, bro. And I'm telling you, man, you need to take videos, bro. Take photos, bro. All that shit, man. 
honestly, my thing is, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna give y'all a gem because I'm really big on social media. Not like saying I'm big, but I, I know the, I know the social media game, bro. Right now it's videos, bro. Take videos, take fire videos, watch Instagram videos on haircuts on barbers that their page is blowing up and create videos like that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your lighting is good. Make sure your camera quality is good. Make sure the sounds you're using are good. Like this is all steps to becoming like known in this industry. You know what I'm saying? Because bro, nowadays you need social media to, to be a barber, bro. I'm being real with you, to be a known barber, to get your shit popping, you know what I'm saying? Unless you've been in the game for a while and you grew your clientele the old fashioned way. You feel me? So these are just like little things y'all need to like implement into the game. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling y'all this as a beginning barber too. So I'm right here with y'all. So I don't think I'm, I'm experienced and I like, and I'm and I'm eight years in now, nah, like I'm just with y'all, but I know what I'm doing though. Cause I've just learned the game. I've been watching the game. I've been studying the game. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want you to think, oh, this nigga don't know what he's talking about. He's friend. Nah, bro, like hear me out, man. Everything I'm telling you, man, the guys that like Vic Blends, Dre Clipper hands, you got, bro, Dre Clipper hands post every day or at least five times a week. You know what I'm saying? His clientele is building still. Crispy, uh, crispy cuts or crispy cats. His client, like his videos are fire, and he posts straight videos. He posts straight videos of him cutting hair. Because at the end of the day, watching a, looking at a haircut on Instagram might be hard for us. Like, oh shit, I want a haircut. But watching a video is satisfying to people. You don't understand watching someone get a lineup and hearing the little hairs cut off your face. That's satisfying. People gonna watch that. And the amount of views you get, the amount of times it's gonna be on the explore page, the amount of people gonna see it, will be like, damn, this motherfucker tough. Let me tap in with him. It's like little things that you gotta just pay attention to that could make or break you, that could change everything for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you this straight up because I know, because like, I literally posted a video of me cutting my little brother's hair. And you know, I got all my lighting set up, I got all my camera set up and shit. And I literally was giving him like a mid fade or mid taper and i literally um i didn't even give I, I wasn't even showing a full haircut i was just zooming in on you know the part that i was working on and the part that i was working on um you know i had my i had my babylon's guard everything was looking crisp the film i had a sound on a port like a like a fire ass sound on tiktok and i'm just blending that shit 10 15 second video it has atk views atk views on an account that i just made like a month ago and the account literally has like 50 followers. And that's just to show you like, it can be done. You know what I'm saying? With little accounts, with any account, if you post a video that looks good, with good content, with good work, and the right and the right tools you're using, like, I'm telling y'all, man, it can make a huge difference. You know how many people, a lot of people reached out to me after that video, a lot. I had like seven, eight people reach out to me after that video. Asking man, like, how do you, like, where do we book you, bro? Like, where you located, fam? Like, where, when can I get a cut? And I'm like, oh shit, like, I, cause you know, sometimes you start to, you gotta think about it, man. Sometimes you start to have that false hope, but you can't, you gotta look, you gotta, you gotta look to God, man. You gotta just know that there's a plan for you in this shit. So don't give up, man. No one's gonna start off being the best barber in the world. No one's gonna start off having 20, 20 heads a week wanting them to cut. No, man, you all got to start from the mud somewhere. But while you dare, just know that there's a purpose behind it. There's a reason why you why you want to grind this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Because cutting hair isn't isn't that hard. But it's what's hard is the competition around you because there's so many people doing it. Everybody, like anybody can learn how to cut hair and that's the thing about it. But it's how you, it's how you, differentiate yourself from the game you know what i'm saying it's how you post on social media it's how you carry yourself it's how you, it's honestly it's your look you know what i'm saying it's everything man it's everything that comes into barbering so like like i said man not to stray off from the question because it's all relates but the best way to get clients that starting off as a barber is just bro you gotta go reach out to people man because no one's gonna reach out to you for a haircut no one knows you you're not even in the shop yet you know what I'm saying? But also people people don't like going to a shop. Go to them. Yo, you need a cut, bro. I could go to you. They're like, oh shit, you come to me. 
And on top of that, you're not really charging much right now. So they're going to take it. They're going to be like, oh, shit. Okay, he's not really charging much. And he's coming to me. Well, damn, like, might as well take that risk. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays, if you want a barber to come to you, what they charging? 100, 100 plus at least. 80 plus at least. And that's not even expensive. Like, that's what, that's real deal shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So take advantage of that shit, man. Take advantage of just, like, you got to ask people, man. You got to... Every cut that you can get, man, take it. Don't shy away from cuts, man. I know sometimes you might be nervous. Like, bro, I don't want to mess this man up. I don't want to... Bro, like, the best thing to tell this person, the best thing to let them know is, hey, you know, I'm I'm new in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not the best, but I'm not going to mess you up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you right. Respectfully. Just kind of like give them a disclaimer type shit. If that makes sense. But going to that haircut, confidence is hell. Confident as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get better, bro. Practice makes you better, bro. I, I see myself get better drastically over a month, bro. Just because my little brother came back in town and I was giving him a haircut every week. And I was giving him low fade, low tapers, mid tapers, high tapers. And I was just in that shit blend. Like, I felt comfortable as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Then my older brother just blessed him with a haircut too. Like, you just gotta, you just gotta do it, man. You just gotta keep practicing. You just gotta keep trying. You just gotta keep, you gotta, you gotta put in, like, you gotta put in the work to get, like, results at the end of the day. But that's what anything in life, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta reach out to people. You gotta be like, hey, man, you wanna cut? Hey, bro, you wanna cut? People around your homeboy, hey, bro, you wanna cut? I went to, like, um one of these, like, I don't know, I don't wanna say it's a shelter, but it's, like, something like that, like a Hope Center. But I went with my class, obviously. And um, we was cutting guys who just who got out of prison, like, after years, guys who got mental issues, stuff like that. Shout out to them, you know what I'm saying? And they were so happy to get a haircut. You know what I'm saying? And they're not going to... The thing is, like, you got to remember, not everybody knows about, like, haircuts or barbering or any of that. People just go get a haircut. That's the, that's, that's the, that's the beauty about it is you could... You don't have to give somebody... I don't want to say it like this because I don't want to make it seem like haircutting is easy or like you could just, you know what I'm saying? But people aren't going to know what a two open or two coat or two close or one and a half, what all that can do for a haircut. You feel me? Or intricate little details like they're not going to know that. They just want to fade. They just want to skin fade. That's all they're going to tell you. I mean, you can make skin fade to line me up. So you got to realize that like don't be so hard on yourself when you feel like you're not giving the best cuts, bro. This is how it begins, man. So, yeah, man. Y'all just got to tap in, man. Y'all got to definitely just go in there. Literally. Bro, you need a cut, bro. I got you with a cut, fam. Let me get you out on the weekend, bro. Let me get you out tomorrow. I can come to you. Like, these things you got to be asking. You got to, like, be a little hustler, man. You got to you gotta be in there trying to, trying to get people haircuts, man. You see people on the road, you know what I'm saying? Business cards, bro. Like, as much as they say, like, eh, get a business card, bro. But make sure your IG is big on that shit. Make sure y'all post it on Instagram, man. Make sure y'all have a portfolio. That's all people want to see. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all doing that, man. But listen, man, it's your boy named FaZe, man. Like I said, man, well, this year we going crazy, man. Three videos a week, man. Y'all tap in, man. We going all year long strong. Literally, man, if you know if you if you in the Orlando area, man, tap in with me too, man. Like I said, I'm gonna get you right. I might I might not give you the best cut ever, but I promise you it's getting there. So don't don't wait too long, man, before it's too late. Nah, man, it's never too late, man. Y'all can always tap in with me. But yeah, man, it's your boy Nate Faze, man. 2023, we going strong. Like I said, man. Get right with your clientele, man. Ask people for cuts. But it's your boy Nate Faze, man. I love y'all, man. We back again with another banger, man. We gonna continuously drop more bangers. If you got any questions, man, hit my IG, Nate Fades. It's gonna be down below. Comment under this video, shit like that. You feel me? And y'all just do what y'all gotta do, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Keep tapping in. But yeah, man, I'm out of here, man. Nate Fades, man, shout out to y'all.